We're talking Super Bowl reflections, and today we're talking to Coach Tony Dungy. Not only was a player, won the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 13 as a player, but also as a coach, he won Super Bowl 41. Hello, Coach. How you doing today, sir? All right, Eugene. Thanks for having me on with you. So, Coach Dungy, I want to go back to you when you were a player, player for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Super Bowl 13. What was that Super Bowl like for you against the Dallas Cowboys? Oh, it was, it was fantastic. It was not anywhere near what Super Bowls are like now. It was a big game, but not all the hype, not all the drama. Now the, this one, Super Bowl 13, Dallas had won two Super Bowls. We had won two in Pittsburgh. This was a rematch. Whoever won this game was going to be the first team to win three. They were going to be the team of the decade. So that there was all that buildup. And we had a great football team. Uh, we had 10 Hall of Famers on that team. And so we were very confident going in. Dallas had some great players. But uh, big game, we won 35-31, and it was a thrill. So let's go ahead and fast forward. Now you are a coach, and you have the distinction of being in the Tampa Bay Hall of Fame uh, uh, Ring of Honor and also the Coach Ring of Honor. So now you're coaching the coach, Super Bowl 41. What was it like for you as a coach? Was it a little bit differently to win the Super Bowl now against the um, Cardinals? Totally different. First of all, the game had gotten much bigger. Now we had two weeks between the championship game and the Super Bowl. You have all the buildup. You're doing uh, all these national shows. Uh, leading up to it, there's a big media day. We, n we never had a media day when I, I was playing. Uh, it was just a phenomenal experience. We're in Miami and, of course, um, you know, wanting to win the ball game, but really wanting to bring it not for myself personally, but the city of Indianapolis, the state of Indiana, all of our players, all your, your staff, your family, you just feel a lot more pressure, I did anyway, as a coach than as a player. So let's turn our attention to Super Bowl 56. And typically we speak and we talk about the, the players. I want you to sp specifically talk about the coaches. What are the coaches staffs doing right now, getting ready in preparation for the Super Bowl? Well, they are trying to build their game plan and actually go through it this week. And then next week they'll start back over, go back to square one, do it again. So they actually have two weeks to prepare the same game plan. But one thing that's interesting about this game, and I had the same thing in Super Bowl 41, these two coaches work together. Zach Taylor was on the staff of Sean McVay with the Rams. So they know each other. They know the other uh, team's offense. They can call the plays. So – you have this week of thinking about, boy, they might do this, but they know that I know this. Maybe they'll do that. And you can sometimes outthink yourself and second-guess yourself. I had the same thing. Lovey Smith had worked for me. Uh, they ran the same defense we ran. So you're putting in plays. You're practicing against yourself, and this could be good. They're, they're really trying to come up with the exact game plan that's going to work, but trying not to outthink themselves. Okay, Coach, I'm going to put you on the spot. Any predictions that you may have for the Super Bowl? I think it's going to be a great game, two explosive offenses. The one key area that I'm going to be looking at, the uh, Rams have had a super defensive line all year. Aaron Donald and Von Miller now, Leonard Floyd, they've got some great pass rushers. And on the other side of it, Cincinnati has been very explosive on offense, but their one Achilles heel has been pass protection. Joe Burrow has been sacked more than any quarterback in the NFL. So how is that going to play out? Can the, they protect, the Bengals protect Joe Burrow? If they do, I think it's going to be a, a shootout and a high-scoring game. I'm not sure who's going to win yet. Okay, he's undecided. He's not sure who's going to win. And I, <laughs> I, I'm on the same side as you. That defense is really, really good. And if they come show up, they're great. But if they protect him, you never know. Yeah. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate you very, very much, sir.